Hey guys, thanks for joining Learn to Play. My name is Lance, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Dragon Slayer. It's a dice game that takes two to five players and roughly about 15 minutes to play. I've, I enjoy it, it's a lot of fun. Um, the players are competing against each other to slay the most dragons. It has a little bit of an interaction with it where you can play a coin and, and try to entice a player to push their luck even farther. The benefit to that is if they, uh, if they succeed, they'll get more points, and if they don't, then you get points. So let's head to the table, and I'll teach you how to play. All right, so game setup is very simple. Each player would receive one Slayer token, which is just the color of their player that corresponds to their little track color that'll go on the scoring track to, the, to show how many points they have during the game. And then each player will also receive a challenge token. All right, so I'd like to go over the dice real quick. So we have the blue dragon, which is the easiest to fight, the green, which is medium, and the red being the hardest. And then we have the warrior's dice. So let's take a look at the dragon dice real quick. Each dragon has the head, wing, and tail. And then we will also find on these dice mountains, which represent that we haven't found that particular part of the dragon that we're looking for. And we also have on the green dragon and the red dragon flames, which are, represent the dragon's attacks. And then on the warrior dice, we have three different symbols as well. We have the axe, which we'll use to kill the dragon when we have all three symbols. Flames from the dragon's attack, which we'll have to defend as well. And then shields, which are used to defend off the dragon's attacks. So each time the dragon rolls an attack, we would have to have a shield that equals the attack. If we don't, then you would lose one warrior dice for each attack that you can't defend against. If you run out of warrior's dice, then your turn is over and you've lost that turn and will not receive any points for any dragons that you've slain. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a player turn. So we'll Grab the three warrior dice, and then you'll choose one dragon to go after. So let's go after the green dragon. And you'll go ahead and make your initial roll. Alright, so we found his head and tail. He has not made any attacks against us, so we will continue to look for his wings. And we have found them. But we are going to take two damage from the flames. So we'll lose two warrior dice, but we do have an axe to go ahead and kill the dragon with. So we have defeated that dragon. And once we kill a dragon, then we have a choice. We can either stop our turn and score the points that we have, or we can push our luck and go after another dragon. If we decide to stop, then we have to allow each player in reverse order of the turn to drop their challenge token. If they drop a challenge token, we have two options as a player. We can accept the challenge and fight another dragon, or we can decline the challenge and receive half points for the dragons we've killed, and that player would receive five points. If we accept the challenge, then we must fight one more dragon, at least one more dragon, and kill it. If we do, we'll get double points for that dragon and any dragon that we kill afterwards. If we fail as normal, we would not score any points, and then that player would receive five points. All right, so play keeps alternating from player to player until one player reaches the 40 victory point mark. At that point, you'd finish the turn with any player that's left, and the player that has the highest amount will win the game. If there's any ties, then those players would go at it again for one final round to determine who is the overall winner.